saying that um, you always wanted to be a fighter, and that she wouldn't let you yeah. be a boxer. Yeah. And then you ended up doing MMA kind of in secret for a little while. Yeah. So she got win. Uh, why that. MMA? If you that, want, pause that for me, Susan. If you wanted to be a fighter, why MMA? Why you didn't go secretly do boxing? Um, because I was old. I was 23. Mm. And at that time, it wasn't opportunities for people that was an all-American wrestler to, because of that going to boxing. And, you know, you know the amateur boxing, three, 400 fights sometimes. And me coming into boxing at the age of 23, I didn't I didn't feel like um, I would be very successful. And I don't want to do nothing without trying to be a world champion at it. So I used to play for a football team called Matthews Dickey. It was a boys club. And we used to walk past and it was a boxing team and I always wanted to box. And uh, I asked my mom a million times every day. I was hound her, hound her, hound her, hound her to find this. She's just like, don't ask me no more. You're not boxing. Blah, blah. So I played every sport. I've been in the sport nonstop since 10 years old. Never had a break, never had an off season. So 30 years straight, I've been active in the sport. Never had an off season, never had a break. So when people ask me about youth and they ask me about, oh, what do you think about this? I've been in, I've been athletic at a, at a very high level for 30 years. So boxing for me came afterwards because MMA, the wrestling base was everything. All the Ultimate Fighter One guys were my teammates, coaches, friends, colleagues and peers. So when I got to the point where wrestling was kind of getting to the point where I was deciding do I want to make this Olympic run still or do I want to just, you know what I mean, do something different and coach. MMA came around and wrestlers was doing really, really well at it. So I started being a coach. I was Tiago Alves' wrestling coach. My head coach, um, now Dean Thomas, I was his wrestling coach. Eve Edwards wrestling coach. And I came down here to South Florida and I was a bag of bones. Sparred twice a day, you know what I mean, getting beat up, kicked in the head. And I was like, fuck, I'm in, I'm here training people so many times because they didn't know how to deal with the wrestlers. Wrestlers took the sport over by storm. So then I became very, very, you know, on everybody's list. A like, fly tire in there. He helped me out for this guy. So I was flying over around the country training guys in wrestling. And finally, I'm like, uh, shit, I'm, I'm in shape. I've been doing this. I may give it a fucking try. Let me fucking try it. And I just kind of tried it. And then I ended up winning five straps. And, and, and the boxing training was a part of it. So then I naturally fell in love with it. So now I get a chance to really box. That's amazing, man. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh. That's uh, I just want to say you look so young. Yeah, yeah. You don't look your age. Yeah, right? yeah I'm, I'm 39. Here, I just say 40 because I, I mean, who cares? I look at you and I look through the camera I'm like, yeah, you look I took care of myself. Young, never took a performance enhancement drug. Um, never really got into anything severe. I never took hardcore drugs. Never beat my body up. Yeah, I went out, I drank a little bit, make smoked a little bit here and there, but I never really fuck my body up. I always had that mindset of an athlete. And like I said, for 30 years I've been in the sport. So I, when everybody's on Cancun and spring breaks and turning up and doing this shit, I could never really partake in it. And I, I used to be like, damn, man, I want to I wanted have fun like that. But God never, that wasn't my path. Yeah. You know, the, the road to the top is real narrow and it's real lonely. So all those people that turned up, those are the people that are in my DM. Man, we rooting for you. Kick his ass, fight, fight. We want you to win. But I'm the one that's out there, you know, showcasing the follow-up. This fight isn't personal at all for anything he's done, right? This is more like you... It's personal because he signed the contract. I, I didn't think he would, and he did. So anybody from now on, I never did an MMA. I never made it personal. Now it's all personal. When I, when I fight somebody, my daughter, you're trying to take away from her future, my sons, my kids, my legacy, you know what I mean, what I stand for. You want to beat me, and you want to take that. So it is personal. All right, well, thank you so much Bet. for your time, man.